yeah? You can hear me nicely. My name's Bagsy. I'm a pro drifter and the guy behind SB Motorsport. Over the years, we've built some amazing creations like the V8 GTR and our PS13 comp car. We bring the smoke and smiles to events all around the world with a few viral sensations along the way. But now it's time for a world's first. We're putting GTR life and soul into a Navara truck. But I'm not doing this alone. I've got a great team to help me. And some of the best partners in the industry. So buckle up, it's gonna be a hell of a ride. And even I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I just drive the car. Welcome to Project Navara R. Hello and welcome to Mission Control, Project Navara R. Here, I'm Matt McCallum and we're here at SB Motorsport today and every month, hopefully, if they have us back, to uh, admire, to question, to gaze in wonderment at a genuine world's first. Old Bagsy, he's trying to mate a Navara with a GTR, ain't you? I am indeed, and the idea I suppose came about two years ago when we built the Nissan GTR drift car. We was left with a lot of equipment uh, from the build, obviously the engine, the drivetrain, the running gear, and it was always a question as what we were to do with it. And uh, yeah, a couple of years later, we're now here at this project, and we're extremely, ex uh, extremely excited about building it. Yeah, yeah, and we haven't just started a live stream to reveal the build that we haven't even finished yet. It's not that kind of project. We're taking you along for the ride, aren't we? We're all pulling we together. Are. Yeah, we're pulling together one big team, as we like to say. And yeah, I'm just one member of that team. Obviously, we've got Corbin and Nathan in the background, and uh, they are key members of this build as well, Matt. Yes, they are. But another key member of this build is actually you guys at home, um, because this is a kind of a community project. We're all in this together. There's a seat for you in the Navara. I'll tell you how, because you can actually have an effect on how the project turns out, Bagsy looks doubtful. <laughs> <laughs> By commenting below, you could say something that fundamentally changes the direction of this, no, but that has a little bit of an impact on the outcome of this project. You could suggest something that ends up being taken into, uh, into account and maybe ignored or maybe uh, <laughs> implemented. Yeah, I mean, there's certainly gonna be, uh, you know, points in the build where we're gonna look to get feedback from people that are watching at home and you know, take direction. You know, there might be some options as well. We'll, you know, we'll have a couple of different options of wheels. Uh, there's gonna be a couple of different options of some safety equipment from Sparco. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be looking from, uh, we're gonna be looking for feedback from people at home watching to uh, you know, help build the truck. So let's get started. Please, please, please start commenting below or to the side or above, wherever it is. Put a comment in. And we'll try and address as many of them as we can. We'll answer questions. We'll uh, rebut any criticisms. <laughs> Ian's good at taking criticism. Yeah, I can mean. take it on the yeah, chin. You yeah, can. It's fair. Bear with me a second. It's almost like the guys at home, they're doing the thinking. They're like the, the kind of brains doing the commenting. Us media guys, we're doing the, the eye job of like looking. <laughs> Uh, but Ian, you're also, as well as the media guy, you're very hands-on, so in a sense, you're doing the hand jobs. I'm doing all the hand jobs in the workshop, um, <laughs> but just for the team itself. No one external at the moment because of social distancing and all yes. that, you know, we've got to abide by the law. But yeah, I'm yes. very hands-on with the build, yeah. as long as well doing social media with Bagsy and everything else. Yeah, and in the sense that this is 
basically I'm selling this as a kind of a timeshare. Um, in that sense, could I get the keys Valentine's Day perhaps? <laughs> Potentially, we'll Potentially. let you have a little go. Potentially. We've got a green room, guys. Um, can we get a whoop from the green room? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Hi, guys. Hello. Hello. So we've got Corbin and Bert who are just chilling, chillaxing after a hard day's wrenching on the truck. It still isn't finished. It's, start, it's kind of just started. And uh, we've got Naomi and Adam who are running socials. How's we it going? Are we are indeed. We've had quite a lot of questions on uh, Facebook already, which is looking good. Yes, cool. Um, yeah, we've got one Teresa Trinder. How many turbos? How many turbos? <laughs> Is it too early for the questions? No, no, get, let's no. get into it. The, get into you it. Know, the, uh, the engine itself, the VR38, is a twin turbo engine, and we're going to be leaving it twin turbo, so essentially two turbos, although we will be upgrading them. Uh, we're working with Garrett on this project, so they'll be supplying us two new turbos. Um, the size of the turbos is yet to be decided. Um, we're going to you know, get a little bit further down the project before we decide exactly which ones we're going to use, mm -hmm. but uh, it will certainly be something from their new... Uh, series of turbos, Gen 2 turbos. Your question there answered. So let's get more of them, get them in to Adam and Naomi who are running our socials, kind of like a Navara our helpline. <laughs> if you've been affected by anything, they can help you out. They may comment directly in the feed or they may feed the questions to us and we'll call you out and uh, have a chat. But shall we observe the genesis of this particular Navara? Well, we're interested to see what you've come up with because we haven't seen these clips yet. So uh, <laughs> Nervous, I think, is more this the... This is make uh, or yeah, break nervous. time, I reckon. This is yeah. make or break for whether we come back next month or we let you come back next month. Matt. Okay. So we'll okay. see. This is new to us as well. In his natural habitat, the Navara can be found frolicking on all kinds of terrain proudly displaying his dominance and capacity to get stuff done. Closer to home, this boisterous spirit sees the Navara living outside of society's white lines, making up his own rules with gay abandon. So what could be better than to harness this virile buck roaming free on the Essex Plains with the antelope and bison of the automotive world. Welcome, welcome home, Navara. <laughs> caught Matt caught in the act there, just uh, <laughs> lubricating his vocal cords. I don't think anyone called five seconds. <laughs> I heard the count. Did I you heard, I it? heard the count, uh, yeah, uh, I heard the count. All right, thanks. That, do you think that kind of summed it up? No, not really, no. no. Okay. Did anyone spot the uh, elephant in the room there as well in that VT? Yeah, there's an error in that VT. You can comment below. If <laughs> did you, you see the it? Error. Did you see it? I knew it was there. But yeah, well, I'm guessing you did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there's there's an error in that, and it's completely down to me. But it was intentional, <laughs> guys. That was about 50% of the media budget for this project <laughs> <laughs> gone. Um, but with what we've got left, let's rewind to. Uh, kind of a different world, a time. It feels like so long ago before this whole COVID thing happened. Let's see when the uh, truck first got picked up and brought to its new home. It's no secret that the Navara was plucked from the mundane in pretty banal surroundings, but reputable nonetheless. Seems like a really nice truck to be honest. Everything seems to be as it should be. And a great tip for buying a second-hand vehicle, take a mate who knows what he's looking for. While you test out the fuel door. Thoroughly. And as long as it starts up okay, you're on your way. I'm a chair looking like two checks. Type of money, make me want to With the radio check approved, driving the Nissan off to its exciting new world, there's just one last important thing to check. It doesn't even work now. No, it does work. Oh, it works down the bottom. There you go. That's just like airbag. Come on, you old We're going on an adventure. Start. Action. So I guess the question is, 
can we get the VR38 engine to fit in the Nissan Navara? And keep the four-wheel drive system? And put a roll cage in it? And some bucket seats? And then try and put like the GTR bits and pieces of the dash in here and maybe try and figure out whether we can keep the steering wheel and the, get a handbrake in as well so we can still get the back end to turn when I need it to. It's going to be you know, one of them projects I think it's going to take a long time. I don't think we're going to rush anything. We're going to try and fit everything in around our current schedule with all the other events we've got going on this year. Well, unfortunately, uh, you know, when we picked the truck up, we were in a much different place back then. You know, things were a little bit more normal. Um, obviously, none of us were expecting what was about to happen. And uh, unfortunately, the world changed very quickly. And we all of a sudden found ourselves with a little bit more time on our hands than we were used to here at SB Motorsport, you know, in the sense that, you know, we normally do a lot of events. You know, we're, our calendar is 30 plus events a year and it went quickly to zero. Um, we'd just come back, obviously, from doing events at Autosport and um, an event in America with Monster Energy, and we picked Navarra up, and yeah, we were left with uh, some options as to what to do next, and the option that we took was to, you know, take precaution, but carry on with the Navarra project. Carry on with caution. Uh, Ian, we've been missing drift. But we've yeah. been missing your voice. I know. Look, listen, it didn't just affect the drivers. It affected everyone involved in motorsport. And, yeah, obviously, I follow Bagsy around Europe, commentating for the Driftmasters European Championship. And like Bagsy said, that came to a stop. So that freed up all my weekends. And uh, as you can imagine, Bagsy was straight on the phone and said, well, if you've got some spare time, let's uh, build a cool truck. So yeah. here I am. Here we are. And we are taking precautions. We do take it very seriously. We're working within the law. You'll see that well, at least one of us is standing in a box uh, Bagsy's doing is Bagsy's also standing in, standing outside, outside the box. The box yeah. It's quite a good game, this. Um, <laughs> I've never wanted to stay inside the box. So, uh, and it's also quite good because I can wind them up as much as I like, and I know that they legally can't punch me yeah. um, because they can't reach. Um, shall we rejoin the journey, bringing the Navara home? If we can make it, like you know, a thousand plus horsepower, I mean that that would get me pretty excited. Just going on a track day with loads of supercars in my truck. Just for a laugh, I think it'd be really cool to just be able to tow the GTR behind. None of that even makes sense as to the Navara R towing the V8 GTR. It's kind of all just a bit crazy. It's like we built craziness, and madness, stuff that people will be like, why would you do that? And I'll just be like, it's just cool, it goes really fast, it sounds great. I guess now it's going to be seeing whether we can actually do it, which is the exciting part. We never built a truck before. I don't think I know anybody that's built like a truck truck, do you know what I mean? Not that I know what a truck truck is. What is a truck truck? That's a question we've all been asking <laughs> ourselves uh, since that was filmed way back when. Truck or truck truck? Well, I think what I was trying to describe when I was saying truck truck was um, something that it would be exciting uh -huh. as well as conventional, you know, something that's you know, useful at the same time as exciting. So mm. when I was suggesting let's build a truck truck, I think I was just doubling up on truck. I was thinking let's build twice the truck, twice that, the truck. The, that Nissan came up with. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think yeah. that's, <laughs> I think that's the road I was going yeah. down. Yeah. I'm not 100% well, sure. I think I was just excited to be driving the Navara home. And I wasn't really sure exactly what I was saying. But yeah, truck, truck came out of my mouth several, with several times. With I respect, I think it goes deeper than that. I think truck, truck runs to the core. And the reason I know that is because it's not the only time that phrase has been used. We have an undercover camera crew that follow you around all the time. <laughs> and they capture it the, uh, again. Um, let's have a look. I, we, our, our lorry driver who drives, we've got a truck, truck. And he can <laughs> drive the truck. So he can drive the truck and the truck truck. Gavin, you know, you a truck or a truck truck? What guy? I want to know is, is the lorry driver, is his license covering for a truck truck or is it just a truck? I'm just a truck guy. I'm not even sure our okay. lorry driver, Gavin, has a 
truck truck, truck license. license, let alone a truck truck license. We're inventing a whole new honest, genre. We've gone through that many wing mirrors with Gavin that I'm not even <laughs> sure he has a truck license, let alone a truck truck license. I think the important thing is that we just nailed down, because this is a project we're all on, we want to know where we're going, we want to know what a truck truck is. Um, just a few pictures just to try and nail this down so everybody understands what a truck truck is. Let's have a look at the first one. Truck or truck truck? <laughs> that's just a pickup truck, man. That, that's, that's just a truck, isn't it? Okay, a bit lame. Uh, next one. No, that's, more... that's, a, that's a fun truck. That's a yes. bit more exciting. Yes. There's a bit more truck truck that's in that. That's a bit more truck truck. Yeah. Passengers in the back as well. And that's a mess. What yeah. is that? That's it's a, a flesh, huge... a flesh light. Is it called a fle flesh light? I wouldn't flesh know. Light? I, don't, light. I don't own flesh anything light. like that <laughs> at all. I mean, I mean if, if anyone knows what a flesh light is, <laughs> Just drop I in think, the comments. I think we made... Is it a flashlight on wheels? <laughs> is it mobile? You can take it with you. It's a travelling flashlight. I think that's a pen drive, isn't it? That's a USB memory stick on wheels. Next. <laughs> that is a truck, truck I can get into. Truck, truck. Yeah, that's a truck truck. That's so this truck, is closest, truck. closest to what we're doing. We're getting an idea now. Maxi, is that the 2021 livery? That is our 2021 livery for our oh. race trailer. Yeah. Race okay, uh, last one. <laughs> That's a tuk tuk, Matt. That's, that's not a truck truck. That's not a truck, that's a yeah, tuk tuk. That's just a and tuk -tuk. I don't know if we could get a VR38 in that. And to be honest, I'm not even interested if there was a project available. I would be oh, out come on, mate. for that. Mm -hmm. I'd be out for that for sure. Okay, well, I well, think... you're looking at that. Let's have a real look at actually what it's potentially, possibly, hopefully going to look like. There you go. That looks better. That looks, that yeah. looks like I could drive. I could, I could be that. in with that. Yeah, I could Digging get that. So this yeah. is an early render. It's pretty slammed. It looks yeah. pretty cool. That's, that's um, the first. That's the like render version one. Yeah. That's what we've been working towards. Something, something that cool. You know, we've been looking at something along those lines. Um, you know, <laughs> something along those lines which yes. will look better. Yes. Yes. And of course, here it is as it is now. GTR engine, Navara. First of all, um, why a Navara? And not a Sangyong Muso. So, well, to be honest, obviously we were Riven R1T. You know, when when we built the Nissan Cyber Truck, <laughs> when we Cybertruck. built the Nissan GTR originally, um, obviously we got a complete car. You know, we had everything. We had a very low mileage, uh, a very early import from Japan um, Nissan GTR. So, and, and obviously we had all the running gear available once we built it. Because obviously we built it with a different engine, we built it with a different gearbox. So we were left with everything. Um, so when I decided that we were going to do something with it. I wanted to try and keep it Nissan family so that it would kind of almost be accepted within uh, a world. You know, if we put it in, say, like a Toyota or a Mitsubishi, it wouldn't kind of be accepted there and it wouldn't be accepted for, you know, a Nissan VR engine either. So I wanted to try and make it something that would fit, you know, for GTR owners and for Navarro owners. I think they'll both appreciate, you know, the, uh, the possibility of owning a Navara R. Yes, and um, there might be like two or three people out there that haven't seen the GTR, Bagsy's GTR that we're talking about, which has used its donor card to donate its actual heart to this car. Let's take a look at that. what a beast it is. It's, it's something of the essence of that that's going to go into that, basically. Yeah, that's what we're trying to get across. It's, it's incredibly, I don't know why I'm looking over here, it's there. Uh, <laughs> it's incredibly exciting to drive. Um, since we've built it, we've done a, you know, quite a bit of development and everything we've done, it's kind of took a little bit step better. Um, and it's, yeah, it's awesome. It's a fantastic demo car. I enjoy driving it. Uh, it still scares the absolute hell out of me. Mm -hmm. uh, driving it with all the power it's got, and uh, it's yeah, it's incredibly cool to take it to events like Goodwood Festival Speed, uh, you know, World Rally Cross events. You know, it's it still has such a presence in the paddock, and uh, you know, being able to show it to people that understand fabrication and engineering, and uh, you know, you know, modifying a car, they really get excited about seeing it. As are we. Um, something else that's exciting tonight we're going to reveal who we are giving away a year's supply of Monster Energy to. 
Yeah, so we were very lucky uh, in the past week or so for Monster Energy to approach us and say, hey, um, you know, we love what you're doing with the Nissan Navara R project. We want to celebrate that and we want to give somebody... <laughs> Not that one. Not that one. Uh, we, that want one. Give, we want to give somebody... They're really slippy. We want to give... Yes. <laughs> it's probably because they're very cold. We want to give somebody the opportunity to have a year's supply of Monster Energy drinks. Now, obviously, you can share them. You don't have to just drink them all to yourself. Uh, I suggest you share them. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to inside this hat, all the names, uh, and giving somebody the opportunity. Do I want one? Are you, yeah, you no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not parched at the moment. I'm okay, fine. not parched at the moment. Are you thirsty? Mm. Oh, He's okay. very thirsty. <laughs> very thirsty. And when I say that we want you to be involved, and you're gonna, you, you know, maybe one of you watching is going to win a year supply of Monster. I, don't I hope know. so. Hope, hope so. I hope watching. one of you is watching is the person that get, gets picked. When we say that you can have an effect on this project, it could be anything. So keep commenting below, questions or suggestions. You know, it's called the Navara R, but you know, potentially you could suggest a kind of a pet name for the truck or a better name, and you know, maybe that could be taken on board. You know, I'm, anything's possible. Um, guys in the green room. Any suggestions, any comments, any questions? How's it going over there? Uh, well, we've got a question from uh, Finn Barnes on Instagram. Hey, Finn. They actually posted this a couple of days ago. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, what wheels will the build have? What wheels? Exactly. To me? Yeah, what I wheels? guess so, yeah. I yeah. Suppose that's yeah, that's kind of your ultimate decision. Uh, so we work with a company. Uh, we normally work with Rotiform, obviously, that you know, supply all the wheels for the, uh, all of our cars. We're very lucky. Uh, they're owned by a company called Wheel Pros, and in their uh, portfolio of wheel brands that they represent uh, is also a company called Fuel. So we're looking into working with Fuel Wheels for the truck because they do a lot more off-road uh, stuff as well as some really nice designs. That said, uh, there may also be a rotiform option for when we do other things. So we might even have two wheel options. But for now. Uh, it looks very much like we're going down the road of fuel wheels. Super, super early days right now. Um, and I think we can now see when the Navara actually arrived in its new home. It's uh, ready to get some work done on it. So Corbin's just undoing all the body mount bolts at the moment because we are ready to lift the body off the chassis after undoing all the uh, ancillaries. And the cab is held onto the chassis with four M10 bolts either side. Right, but if you want to get on the buttons, I reckon me and Corbin will go a side each and just watch it as it goes up, make sure everything's disconnected. Nice. Uh, big, big, big things just about to happen. Corbin, who's, who's your favourite, actually, out of... Um... Corbin or Ian? Corbin or Ian, who's your favourite? <laughs> who's your favourite out favorite? of Corbin or Ian? Uh, I mean, yeah, Ian's quite a nice guy, but Corbin's handsome, really yes. handsome. Yeah. Yes, he's got the best beard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, no, might, I don't know, I wouldn't go that far. The teamwork, 
has been immense, right? Yeah, I've worked with Corbyn for a long time now. We built the, the GTR together and uh, we also did the PS13 when we revamped that and we changed it from the VQ to the V8. And uh, yeah, we get on really well. There's plenty of banter, as you'll probably find out later on in the, in the live stream. There's more banter um, than there is work in this workshop, unfortunately. Listen, banter makes the world go round, and me and Corbin, we just vibe and we do some work sometimes. And I tend to stay in the office a lot, because yeah. otherwise they pick on the me. We've noticed, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go over to the green room. Uh, where, Corbin and Ian? Corbin, Corbin and, and Bert. Corbin and Bert, Bert, oh. AKA Nathan. Yeah, we don't want to talk to you, yeah. We want to, we want to get some soch. Get some social name, name badges. badges yeah. Name badges, yeah. yeah, actually, yeah. We've got um, quite a few questions coming in. Well, Hi, not Adam. really. Questions. Hi. Hi. Um, Stephen, stand in the box. Stand in the. Stand in the box. Stand in the box. box. Um, like one, of the, one question coming in being: Is that like you're driving on the clipping points, like missing the clipping points all the time? <laughs> James Gilbert. Uh, I'll say James, James Gilbert. James Gilbert was it? Yeah. Thanks, James. That's um, rude. I mean, yeah, it's true. Mm. He does struggle. Time to, to time. To find clipping points. To yeah. find the clipping points. Has been known, yeah. He gets there. He's there now. I'm, I'm here. I just yeah. arrive late sometimes. Factually late. <laughs> yeah. Rapid fire then. We've got Jonathan Buck. Has it got a sat nav for Jim Carner grid? Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. There's a bird there. Thanks, Thanks Bucky. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, it's not a bad idea. It has sat nav standard, and uh, he's got a rear camera, so you can see him when you're smoking him off the line. <laughs> there is that option. So there you well, go. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> It's fair, fair, right? It's fair. It's, it's four-wheel drive as well, which means I could enter Jim Carner Grid and in the same category as him, yep. kick his ass, and then tow him home on the trailer oh. when he probably breaks down or something. Or breaks the gearbox. Because wow. I think he broke a gearbox in... He broke his seat, I think, Did at he? one point. Well, probably wouldn't go far enough forward. <laughs> <laughs> Next. James, James Gilbert also said, could you call it Trucky McBase? Trucky McTruck Trucky McTruck That's I, definitely in the hat. It's yeah. an option. Definitely. Yeah. Just truck face for short. I don't know if it's better than truck truck, but anyway. Truck truck face. Truck truck face. Maybe. I don't know. Truck truck face. Um, banter is is rife, but you know sometimes it's really important just to get down to the hard work, and when under pressure, you just got to do your job, and no one knows that better than Corbin. Let's just see some of the kind of technical things he was doing outside uh, a bit earlier before they removed the cab from the chassis. I would suggest, do you even need to, I mean, it does everything you need already. I You've mean, just proved. I, and that was, it wasn't just a first gear burner. He even took the, you know, he took it far enough even to flip it into second gear in the Navarre outside and get it spinning. It was Corbin, is that an essential part of your role? Um, not really. I was basically just trying to turn it round. Yeah. But I must have had someone on the bottom of my shoes and my foot just slipped straight off a clutch. <laughs> Managed to land on the brake pedal and that turned into a burnout for some reason. Really? Yeah. And funny enough, it happens quite often, this slipping off the clutch scenario. Does it? Yeah, more, almost daily. Really? It's very expensive when it comes to tyres. <laughs> very da you know, daily, it's almost, you know. So Impressive, but yeah. Know. Yeah. Okay, back to business. Before we get that cab off that chassis, I keep saying it's coming, it's coming. Let's find out what we've learned so far. The outtakes are going to be fucking oh, ten right. times better than the actual video. I'm again doing a job that you started. You don't even know what it's for, do you? No, I don't. So Corbin's ass crack is hanging out at the moment. Mate, mate, <laughs> it's not pretty. You need to get some like lotion on there, some chamomile lotion or something. <laughs> oh, mate, look at that. Oh, what have you done? <laughs> mate, if I, I break them, <laughs> if I break them, it'll do you a favour. You owe me a new pair. I've had them for 32 years. Look, mate. I have. Are you dumb? You. I said don't take the weight of the truck. Back once again, finishing his work. Just break that clip. You can't, you won't break it. You're scared of Stephen. You're scared of him. Oh, mate, that was going to whip you in the eye. If that would have come up and whipped you in the eye, I would have creased myself.
Like, I, didn't, I didn't break them. I didn't break them. Because they're still, they're still functioning now, Are technically. They? If you break them, Matt, even, it's down to you. I don't even know how or what. It looks like a penguin. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But this, Corbin, 32 years old, these things. 32 years old. And yeah, tragically, I, I, tragically ruined by I got them when I was a uh, minus two. I kind of liked them when I was minus two, so I got them. I've kept them a long time. Really? Yeah. I, I felt bad for you when I saw that, and I think that Ian should put it right. Yeah, and I so, mean, yeah, it's only fair, right? Yeah, so when, you want to give we, him some yeah. replacement tools? Yeah, we chipped in, Corb, and uh, had a whip, we had a whip we had a little whip round for you, mate. I mean... It's like my first ruler and screwdriver oh, and hammer. That's perfect. You can wear that around your waist so your ass crack don't The only out problem well. with these is I still haven't got the tool that you broke. <laughs> well, I didn't break it. You, you, well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I've I, road mean, thanks, sir. I have road They're tested brilliant. that. It will fit around your waist as well, I reckon, because you, so if, you, if, if you want to. I'll and sell then, these to Bert. <clears throat> the other thing to address... Um, yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not pretty. It's not pretty, but it's also, you said chamomile lotion. And I, I mean, I was, just, I was just shooting a breeze there. I didn't know what yeah. the, uh, yeah. the actual but right lotion is for the job. Yeah, that's, it's actually um, calamine lotion. Oh, is that what it is? Is that, the right, is that from your ass, Matt? No, <laughs> no, but it is. There's, at least, there's at least I mean, a quarter of the bottle left. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, I'm not touching that bottle. Are you not going to give it to <laughs> No, I mean, just, you know, uh, for personal hygiene reasons, it's, yeah. Ah, okay. Oh, there we go. That's there we go. Are you going to apply it as well? <laughs> <laughs> I take this to Corbin. I mean, if you want to apply it, then... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that's, so, well, that's I don't the, want to touch can, it. I don't know where it's come from. Okay, well, I'll put it here, and when no one's looking, you can <laughs> take it away. If it's I, not there next I, time I look at it... I need it applying. Okay, we'll be round. Cool. Okay. I think it's the thought that counts. It's the thought that counts, Matt. That's what I mean. I it put is. a lot of thought into that. There's a lot of thought. And it, and it, listen, I appreciated it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's emotional now. Like, this is, this is the thing, right? All this work, and we're now going to do it. We're going to get that cat actually going to do it. And um, there's a bit in here. I wanted to use the Jurassic Park music, and it turns out we can't afford to use the Jurassic Park music. <laughs> but when you that. watch it, you will also feel similar. I know, because of the, the, the optics of the shot, you just see the behemoth, the the, the, just the thing, and all the people stood around. You'll feel it as well. So you watch closely. You, uh, should, we, should we hold hands? Yeah, we'll hold hands. I don't know. Wait, is that legal? Hold hands. Well, you, We've got gloves. <laughs> Let's just play the VT. Just play the, the, the <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready, Corb? Yeah. Go on in, mate. Up you go. Nice. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's going one way slowly. You alright, Corb? Your side, yeah? I look all good so far on my side. Yeah, all good round there. All good, Corb. Yeah, looking all good my side. Yeah, gear stick's free from what I can see. Yeah, that's it, mate. Yeah, you're free.
proud moment, guys? Yeah, I mean, I shed a little tear. I don't know about you, Bagsy. Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it was very emotional. Uh, you weren't there. Yeah, that's why <laughs> it was very emotional. You know, he missed uh, it all. Again. I missed it all. You know, they never tell me when the exciting stuff happens. They just, carry, you know, they're just cracking on. Uh, no, it was it was awesome to see. And you know, the funny thing about a lot of the builds we do is that once we get the car in, there's so much excitement in the room that. The first bit always happens so quickly, you know, the tear down of the car, stripping mm. it down is always sort of the most exciting part, you know, having to dig around in there and getting it all out and, you know, finding stuff, you know, that's been lodged away in, in the car for years. And it's, uh, you know, it's exciting. The boys did an incredible job. I think the engine was still warm from when we drove it in, from when the engine was actually being lifted out of the, uh, of the frame. So that was a new one for us. Yeah, well, it all happened pretty quickly. And I think we were all surprised that it happened that quick, to be fair. I didn't think we'd assumed we'd get the, the truck stripped to that, that far in one day, and we did, which was yeah. quite good for us. It's, it's quite scary in a way. Like, you can come back to your car and find it on bricks with the wheels gone. <laughs> it seems that maybe you could come back to your car Especially and... Especially here in South End, Essex, you can definitely... In fact, I think your car outside is out on bricks. Really? Yeah. yeah. Is, is, the, is it just a <laughs> chassis now? Yeah, we sold it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> It is available, yeah. Like all parts that we've stripped off the Navara <laughs> are available on our uh, eBay account, which is SV Motorsport Limited. Uh, if you need anything spare for your Navara from a yeah. 2016 model, feel free to have a look. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. Yeah. Get in there. Are you, people at home, are you preparing to raise your entire car off its chassis? Tell us about it. Whatever you're doing. We want to hear from you. Keep commenting. Keep watching. Later on, we are going to reveal somebody's going to win a year supply of Monster Energy. But over in the green room, we're going to hear some of your comments now. Hello. Uh, Hello. Right, so, yeah, we've got another question coming from George Barkley. Oh, God. Hey, George. Oh, George. Uh, what gearbox is the Navarra are going to run? That's a very good question. Um, so in the initial plan of the Navarra R project, we um, were looking to work alongside uh, our gearbox partner, which is Quaif. Mm -hmm. um, we are still looking down that road. Um, for the time being, though, we are going to be running the uh, standard gearbox that comes with the Nissan GTR. So it will be uh, obviously the gearbox that comes with standard uh, flappy paddle. Yep, it will be paddles. Um, and the, obviously, you know, like normal, the gearbox will be mounted in the back. Um, and that is the way we're going to go for the initial build. However, later on, there is a very strong possibility we'll be needing a much stronger gearbox and working alongside Quaif. Awesome. Uh, Adrian Brock has asked, will it run a clear bonnet so you can see the engine? Oh, wow, that's a major throwback. Wow. We, didn't, we haven't done that for a long we time. We haven't done that for a long I time. Think that's, that's throwing it way I back. I think that was, was that you and Mark that did that yeah. back in the day? Yep, shamelessly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we won't talk about that, we'll gloss over it. <laughs> Uh, it's going I don't, to be covered in sponsor logos, let's be honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't think initially that we'll be able to obviously run a clear bonnet to see the engine. However, it would be pretty cool. Uh, but for now, no, I don't think that's an option. Sorry. Sorry, Adrian. Um, and James Gilbert's asked another question. Uh, what is that bar badass BMW you have down at SB? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he means the one on bricks. He does mean the one that's on yeah, bricks outside. On bricks. Yeah. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Uh, yeah, we are building a, uh, a car as well, another customer vehicle, which is a, uh, is it an E46? E36. 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 Well, no, it's an E46 engine, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a, it's a V8 engine uh, that we're putting inside his E36. Cool, 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 cool. So now we've actually done the, the stripping. The lifty bit. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we sort of like 70, 80% of the work I done mean, now. All we had to really do at that point was slap in the VR38 and then just quickly tear it up the street and see if she was all sound. But Basically, yeah, we were pretty much there, to be honest with you. Pretty much there. So this could be one, one yeah, clip. Yeah, we'll be done next week, I think. Yeah, done next week. Not really. No. Let's see uh, what the next steps were uh, in the process. Touch my nipple, do you? Oh. So basically, we're just spraying down the chassis. Um, so when it comes to taking dismantling it, uh, we have no we're working, not working around any grime, and it's just everything's a lot easier to get to. Yeah. 
More money, more time, more girls. Now it's no time, no dollars, no girls. I remember old times and old girls. I swear I wanted my last name, yours, girl. Look, no girl, no girl, no girl. Gonna love me like you do, you do, you do, you do. Meanwhile, in the workshop, the team are considering the big question. Will the electric still function without connection to the original factory engine? So when the alarm goes off and you can't turn it off, ever. Right, I'm going to click the... Uh, ready? <laughs> Put the headlights on, Cor. No <laughs> way, they still work. Savage. That's saved so much. That means that the automatic headlights... few things to tackle there, but I think the first thing we ought to get into is Bert. Um, Guy, you, you, you really, really uh, have a good uh, technique when it comes to um, spraying a car. Uh, what's that all about? Well, my technique is nice, deep, and slow. That ah. is my pumping technique. Okay. And about three meters away from the actual car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it got a little bit of it, didn't it? I mean. <laughs> I'm not even sure how we're meant to answer that question anyway. No, no I mean, <laughs> watching the VT alone was disturbing enough for anyone, <laughs> let alone, you know, his family members. Well, yeah. He's okay, got a good yeah. pump action. He's got though. an amazing pump action. He's got a really good pump action. And he's only young, so what do you expect, you know? Yeah, I love the way he lo looks over his shoulder while he's doing it yeah. as well. It's quite nice. Yeah. It's he right just nice. needs to perfect his aim and his distance. Yes. yes. That comes with age and experience, though, Matt, right? Yeah, yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. Um, Have we even shown that VT yet? We just yeah, showed it. Just went out. <laughs> what we've made them. <laughs> yes. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we missed that one. Bagsy's lost interest already. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's completely gone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll just keep quiet. <laughs> Another major development, apart from the pump action, was the fact that the electrics work. I was a more big deal. excited than that than anyone else, to be honest. Yeah, with I, think that's I, was, the bit I was watching. I was, yeah, I was, I was quite excited about well, that. What was that mean? What, what, um, look, most modern cars now, you take one part of the wiring harness away and you kind of lose 90% of the rest of it. Um, CAN bus systems and everything else, a lot of it's fiber optic on some cars. So, yeah, taking one thing away can mess up the rest of it. For us um, to be able to remove the cab and still have everything functioning off the battery, the alarm, the wipers, the horn, everything, was a big significance because, although it might not seem like a big thing, it saved us a lot of time and a lot of expense because we could literally just bolt that cab back on now, make a harness for the engine to connect to an aftermarket ECU and away we go with a road going truck. Wow. Yeah, it was incredible. It was a, it was a, a massive moment for us and we, one we were really excited about because none of us anticipated it really. No, no. None of us have really uh, you know, worked or modified a truck before that you could sort of you know, take, the, you know, take the tub off and uh, be left with just the frame. So, you know, to be able to put the battery back on and have all the electrics, like Ian said, seats, radio, heaters, everything, it saved us yeah, a, a lot, lot of time. time. So yeah. we're mm. yeah, excited about that. Very excited. Here is the chassis. It's, it looks different again. In the last three <laughs> days, it's changed amazingly. So progress is really, really going at some pace. What sometimes. Are, yeah, <laughs> when you're not measuring for three days. The banter seems to have more progression sometimes. Um, I think the biggest thing is, um, obviously, no one's ever done this before. Me and Corbin especially, we've done a lot of crazy builds, i.e. the GTR project, but converting a chassis so heavily and modifying it so much to take such different running gear is quite daunting. So we spend a lot of time together talking about what we're going to do, measuring, making sure that whatever we do, whatever cut we make to the chassis is the right cut because you could go full steam into this, crash it out and it'd be completely wrong. And obviously we've only got one shot at this. We want to do it right. And we want to do it right the first time. We want to make it 110%, you know, the best we can do between us. Yeah, yeah. And Bags, you've got a lot of faith in their ability because you're going to be ragging this thing around. Yeah. Your life's going to be in this thing's hands and they've 
completely changed I've it. I've got a huge amount of faith in the boys and, and, and that's another reason we're kind of doing this and another reason we're inviting everybody in to have a look at this is because, you know, the projects that we've built over the years, especially the GTR, we had to build that in such a short space of time behind closed doors for a video project we were doing with Monster Energy so that, you know, these boys didn't get any sort of recognition for the work they'd put in. Mm -hmm. You know, they'd spent hours and hours and hours, you know, no, you know, night periods, day periods, like, you know, they literally, I think when it came down to the last week of building the GTR, we spent literally, we were here the whole week. Like, you know, Ian had to go away and then come back and then just didn't leave again. You know, was here for three days straight trying to get the GTR finished in time. And, you know, the level of work that I feel that we're, we're creating here at SP Motorsport is a reason why I'm inviting everybody in, especially here now live, to see what these boys have, you know, achieved. And it's a testament to the work that they're, you know, able to achieve here. So, like, the pressure of creating a sick vehicle that's entertaining to watch but still keeps its driver safe, that's nothing new to you, but the pressure of everybody watching your every move, because we are going to see every twist and turn. Yeah. When it goes wrong, I think we're going to tell everyone. Yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, we will. Look, everyone makes mistakes. Um, I'll put, hold my hands up. I've made mistakes in the past. And, look, it's all part of the learning process. Like I say, I've said it many times before, this is the first time we've done it. So there isn't a right way, there isn't a wrong way. And things like d designing brackets and how the, the turret was constructed, you know, it was just made in cardboard. Me and Corbin spoke about it for a few hours. We stood there, scratched our beards, um denied, had a cup of coffee, and then finally got to the point and said, well, that really is the best design. It looks the nicest. And ultimately, again, a lot of the process that's gone into this is we wanted 99% of what we done on the truck to look like Nissan have, fabric, have made it from the factory. So mm. a lot of it's MIG welded, it's very heavy, it's quite agricultural. And also we wanted to kind of make some of it look like it was pressed in the factory. Yeah. I mean, people would have probably assumed we would have made it look motorsport with, you know, some tubes and dimple dyed holes, but that's not the route we wanted to go. We wanted to make it look like Nissan had made this yeah. straight out of the factory. Yep. Yeah. And the next step, it's quite interesting, is to just test fit just, just, just offer up the actual GTR engine to the cab. Now, this is by no means fitting it. This is just, just out of curiosity, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. We wanted to see how it fit in if we had enough room. Yeah, let's have a look at that. I need to know everything. Who in the what and the where I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but I like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything. <laughs> Almost looks like it's made to be in there, doesn't it? It will be in a few weeks' time. <laughs> It'd be pretty cool if we can keep the air conditioning and stuff like that. Oh, 100%. 100% air con in a race truck. <laughs> that photo right there, right now, in there, like that, is... Money. Money. Like, that is... Like the closest anyone ever came to this before was a computerized, gener that was a computer generated image. Mm -hmm. Like somebody Photoshop. literally photoshopped all that together. Well, we're really gonna do we it. We are actually doing this. I genuinely love that clip. That's kind of like the moment where you realize you definitely can't take it back. <laughs> There's no returning that to the dealer. I think, and, and that was one of the things Ian and Corbin did all the time was say to me, you know, while we were stripping it apart, it's not too late, it's not too late. <laughs> we can still put it back, we can still put it back. Are you sure you want to do this? Are you sure you want to do this? 14 day cooling off period. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to leave, <laughs> leave him 10 minutes and then go and check on him. And then that first cut into the, into the frame, um, that was the turning point. That was the point where it was, uh, no going back. Yeah. What was more, what I think was more sad, in, uh, what was more sad was the guy that we bought it from. Uh, you know, when we told him a little bit about what we were going to be doing with the Navara, you know, I think he was a bit like, oh, this is cool, but why? Why, <laughs> why would you do this? But at the same time, in the end, I think they, uh, they think it's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm still thinking, why would you do this? But I know, <laughs> but I know because it's loud, goes fast, and it's cool. Yeah. They are the criteria. Uh, now, you might have a Navara at home, okay, bear with me. You may have a Navara at home, and you're thinking, I want to be cool like Banksy. But maybe it's not within your realms to do something like this to your truck at home. But don't worry, there are things that you can do with your Navara. You can take it shopping. Uh, you can fit a bike rack so that uh, you look more kind of butch and manly, even if you don't have a bike. Um, you could take it to the tip but possibility of some jobs worth saying that it looks like a commercial vehicle and you need some kind of permit and it's just a waste of time. On that subject, 
If you are self-employed, you may find that it's uh, tax efficient to own a vehicle like this, um, even if uh, you only take it shopping. There'll be more tips like that next month. <laughs> Is that your um, <laughs> like, sales pitch? <laughs> Well, it's good to know. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. If you want to avoid, <laughs> if you want to avoid some of your corporation tax bill, you can uh, build a Navara. Buy a Navara. Yes. Yes. Um, the most important part, and we are going to be announcing the winner of the year supply of Monster Energy in probably like four or five minutes. But before that, let's hear from you guys over in the green room. Hello. Right. A couple of questions come in. George Barkley. As I asked a sensible question, do I get an invite to the green room? And if so, who's going to do my hair and makeup? <laughs> well, yeah. Can I answer that? You can answer that, yeah, take that away. Um, we've got a makeup artist. He doesn't need hair because... He hasn't got any. He hasn't got any. Zero um, hair. I can't say he gets an invite because it's not really my place to invite him, but I stand at you, Bags, he really does. Well, he get an invite? He doesn't ever get an invite, he just turns up. He just turns up. He does. And he's, he's very welcome whenever he's he comes. He's got a ranger, he's got a full ranger. He does. So he's he's in also the brings beer when he turns up, so that's another positive. Yeah. I guess he can come, yeah. Mm. Cool. So um, we may have more guests. In fact, it's all down to if it's kind of lockdown permitting. If we could do it with social distancing and we out, maybe we'll go bigger, maybe we'll get more people, maybe we'll have a party. I mean, one of the plans initially when we decided to do these uh, live streams was to have guests and invite people here to witness what we're doing, uh, show people at home what we've been up to. And I think it's, you know, as soon as it's possible, we'll be able to bring people here and let them come hang out while we're doing this and, uh, yeah, have a few special guests and to come and, you know, have a look at what we've been up to. Let them have a go on Corbin's grinder. Um, <laughs> back to you. <laughs> one from Adrian Brock. Do you plan to run a full interior alongside the roll cage or just two front bucket seats? Uh, I suppose I'll take that one again. Yeah, you can take that uh, one. Yes, we are looking to run uh, as much of the interior as possible. We want it to still feel like, uh, we, we want it to still feel comfortable on a daily basis. I don't want it to be completely uh, track only or motorsport only and stripped out. We do want it to be able to do, you know, some more day-to-day uh, tasks comfortably but however we do have some motorsport plans for it we do have some events for it to go to um, so we might have to sort of chop and change its inner appearance uh, for those for those events uh, we have a question from Corey Manet. hey Corey Corey hello, hello. Uh, how often will there be updates like this uh, so you can answer that. <laughs> well, I, what I was thinking is this, this whole setup reminds me of like the Prime Minister's daily briefing. Maybe yeah, we could we do, could do a, one on a Friday night, every Friday night. Yeah. Every, I was going to well, say I mean, daily, if, daily briefing. If you're following SB Motorsport on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, mm -hmm. you should be getting those uh, Friday night and midweek updates that I do in the workshop yep. telling you what's been going on. Are they at so, midnight? No, not midnight. Midweek. Mid oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a bit deaf in your old age. Mate. Whilst DJing. <laughs> Whilst DJing, yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, lots of updates on social media, um, but we're going to be doing these, uh, I suppose, live streams. Yes. Live from SB Motorsport. We're going to be doing these once a month uh, for, the, for the foreseeable future. Oh, James, we got the job. <laughs> depending on how many views we get and yeah. if anyone is even watching Well, then uh, please share this link with as many people <laughs> as you can, and then we might be able to come back next month. That's well, begging, Matt, yeah. basically. Oh, sorry. It's, <laughs> it's not good, is it? From Grant Spillman, uh, what kind of chassis strengthenings are you going to have to do to it? You can take that one. Here. Well, yeah, me and Corbin have been talking about this uh, a lot because we obviously know of the issues that the older Navara has of snapping behind the cab uh, in the middle. We are obviously going to be putting quite a lot of strength into the chassis, uh, plating up the original chassis, some additional X braces in front and rear to keep it together because you know from the factory it came with a hundred odd horsepower and we're going to be running a thousand so uh, naturally we are going to have to put some strength into it we are going to be looking to brace it as much as we can but still keep it as usual it's not going to have like a exo roll cage around it or anything crazy we want it to look like a navara on the outside so yeah we want to keep it you know as much we want to keep it as much as navara as possible uh, <coughs> Back to Bagsy, really. Would you be up for a head-on-head -head against Liam Duran's RS200? Uh, I mean, <laughs> you could tow. Uh, that, I mean, we could, I could tow it to the event for him if he wants. <laughs> I mean, Liam's RS200 is a serious piece of equipment. There's no lying there. It's it's an absolute savage, uh, you know, absolute savage machine. I got a passenger ride 
in Liam's RS200 in its Pike Peak spec at Monza Rally Show back in 2018. And um, my helmet, which is actually up there, st is still damaged on the top from the roll cage because the passenger seat uh, was very small and I just about fit the seat. It's, it's, an, it's a scary machine. It is absolutely insane. And if anyone's ever seen that RS200, especially with Liam driving it, uh, it's, it's, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. I was petrified the whole lap round the track so at to Monza. to answer that question, in short, is Bagsy scared? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, if I'm just going to answer for I mean, uh, you know, the option there, yeah, the, yeah, the, an <laughs> the answer to the question is I'm going to just tow it to the event for him and then let him, <laughs> Take it. Yeah, let him drive it around the track. Another one come in. Hey guys, what's in those drinks on the table? Oh wow, what drinks on what table? Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean you? The table. Uh, these drinks. Ah, uh, I was hoping this was these drinks. What are these? <laughs> oh, I know what those are. Well, we were just kind of like. I mean, I, I've got a pass because I've got to drive home. So. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm being driven home. Um, <laughs> I'm staying here. Do, can I can I show people? Them? Of course. So. Yeah. So these were, uh, these were a gift uh, from ST Suspension at an event we did many years ago, I think. No, actually, was it? Uh, maybe it was last year. Uh, they were a gift for, uh, for partners when they arrived. ST donated them. Uh, I mean, shout out to... Does that mean I have to Shout out one? to Ronan at ST Suspension for providing these. Are we drinking these now? Are we drinking is that these the, now? Is that the rule? Is that the... Is that the I mean, yeah. I mean, I guess I'm going to have to. I'm not going to chicken out. I mean, keep your distance, though, Matt, and all that. Has he got a glove? Can you rub her up for me? <laughs> Please don't use that. I mean, why would you bring that back into the situation? They're 32, 32 years old. They're 32 years old. I mean, if you broke them, it'd be a shame. I didn't break them. I don't know how. I don't know if these get more aggressive with age. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think you need to give it a little <laughs> shake. Yeah, I didn't shake mine before. Oh. Quick shake. Ronan from KW Germany, ST Germany, thank you Is very much. Is anyone else joining us? No? no? Anyone in the green room want a shot? No? All right, well, cheers, lads. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Thanks cheers. So much, Bottoms yeah. up. Wow. Oh, God, that's, that's like lovely. a paint stripper. <laughs> <coughs> Blimey. Okay, Are you right, well, man? moving on swiftly, eh? We need to give away years of flight. Oh, yeah. we got any more questions? Any more questions? James Gilbert, will the boys actually work on the car during a live? Uh, so obviously on this, uh, on this episode of the live stream, we're not doing any work on the truck because we're trying to just update everybody with what we've done so far. But going into events, going into lives in the future, yes, we'll be doing work on the truck while we're alive yep. and letting people influence on how we're getting on. Awesome. Or find out what we're doing and how we're doing it. Exactly. One final question. We have time for one final question. Uh, Dan Fermin, uh, Firminger, will Bagsy show us his quarantine cut? Oh, his what? <laughs> <laughs> his quarantine cut. Uh, the answer to that question, Dan, is uh, no. No. Moving on. Fascinated. <laughs> Should we pick our winner of our competition? Yeah, yeah, let's pick up. Well, are you going to... I'm going to help you mix it. you want to mix them up a little yeah, bit? Yeah, but you, you, if you take them, I'll... Someone's lost. Sorry, guys. What about all these ones on the floor now? Pick one off the floor. <laughs> it's random. That's the point. Um, well, I feel like this is slightly unfair to the people that are still in the hat, though. All right. Here we go. And the winner of a year's supply of Monster Energy is Driver Error. Whoever you are. In fact, I think I know who Driver Error is from seeing them on Instagram. So, Driver Error, if you can send me a DM on Instagram, Woo! I need your address. Well you done. have just won a year's supply of Monster Energy drinks. We will get them to you as soon as possible. Yes. So, yeah, make sure you DM what, the me. The whole on year's worth. In one. Whole year's, your whole year's supply of Monster Energy will be in sent one delivery. to your. Home. I hope you have a big fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, driver error, send me a DM on Instagram and I need your address. Driver error, enjoy your year, it's gonna be sick. You're gonna have a very energetic <laughs> next one year. Yeah, uh, well, we're pretty much out of time. Um, it's been awesome. Um, 
Do you reckon we could get tattoos next time? Tattoos? Yeah. It just came to me. It would be awesome to get tattoos. What, live? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm going. Could it be um, done? Well, yeah, it could be done. <laughs> Where did that even come from? I just thought it would be a good idea. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose why not? Why not? Yeah. That's in the contract. Yeah, that's Fair in enough. the contract now. Cool. cool. It's been fantastic. Thank you all for being with us. Um, keep commenting, keep following, send your comments to SP Motorsport socials and Bagsy, harass him as much as you can. Wand Wizard, of course, as well. Yes. Thanks to Bagsy. Thanks to the Green Room. We're here. Woo whoop. <laughs> thanks, guys. And thanks to you. Goodbye. Bye. Right. Ciao. You can't call anyone ginger because you are more orange than anyone here. We can't work like this all the time because otherwise he's going to fucking expect us to do loads of that. We've already gone red because you walked out the side in the sun earlier. <laughs> Slow down a little bit. Otherwise we'll be fucking done next week. <laughs>